I have used to clear my CCI in the first attempt. Uh, if you're talking, then I used three types of the resources uh, like printed books, uh, ebooks, and the videos. I'm not saying that uh, I have been uh, reading uh, page by page for the, all, all of the books, but most of all, uh, I have to read a specific topic from a book as an example. Uh, I was working on the OSPF, then I took two or more, uh, two or three books to collect and collect all the Rukai topics to study and practice to make your own style. So it's my advice that make your own style, don't flow the, any other uh, person's uh, style because that will be helpful for you. I want to make sure you that I never created flash card or heavy notes for myself. This is the my belief that if you want to review a topic, review the book you have already met. So it will be help you to understand the some missing topics as well as because I'm an average student and my preparation was also according to it. Follow your own style, that's the my guide. And if you would like to work on the flash card, then you can work. But I never. Why I never worked on that one? Because I know if I will read a, one chapter in one day or two day, for me it's not possible to keep remember all all thing, every words or every highlights. I need to go through the same books two to three times then I can do it. The mostly how I was doing is that I was reading a chapter or working on that one in the first week of the month. Then I will make the repeat preparation or uh, read again or repeat again on the same workbook on the second or the third week of a month. So it was helpful me to revise the chapters which I have finished the seven days before so I will not be forget the sum of the things and it will keep you it will help you to remember in a long time so let me show you a few printed books from my collections is my collection for the end cover is you know the end cover is the 35401 exam and the CC, CCNP Enterprises Advanced Routing exam is the 300 and 410 exam. So I will make show you this is my book for the CCNP. And for the Encore books, I have used uh, a few other books I used as the 30 day before your CCNP and CCA Enterprises exam. That is the ebook. Bridging the gap between the CCNP and the CCI, this the ebook, and this book is also help me to prepare for the my CCI lab because this is completely based on your lab preparation and understand the topics as well as, and this book also helped me to in advanced routing uh, exam, and. Apart from them, I used the other official SAT guide that the CCNP advanced, sorry, CCNP Enterprises Advanced Routing and NRC, that the 30410 exam. This I used the ebook. This is for the first 60% of the topic. For the ST1, uh, a few books and the workbooks uh, are provided from my training institute too. So if you will look at here, I will show you some of the books which is provided uh, from my training institute for this one is this. And then the one workbook two as well as. So this is also, if you will look at this book, is also seems like some workbook. I'm not sure, can you see it's properly or not? But yeah, this seems to be a workbook two. So it's helped me a lot for the SD1 uh, preparation and as well as I used the Cisco software defined wide area networks design, deploying and secure your next generation when with the Cisco SD1 book. 
Uh, its name is too big, but here I can show you. I have the one book. It's not the, uh, this book. I didn't get in the printed one, so my institute provided uh, a photocopy for this one. And this also some added topic. Uh, not only that book, so I also so added some other topics as well. I perform that one for the DNA preparation. If you're asking to me, then I used a printed book that is the intent based networking that the Cisco digital network architecture intent based networking for the enterprises. Uh, first few top few chapters on this book will help you to understand the requirement why the digital networking is required in the upcoming future or the two days two days and based on that when they, they describe a lot of the things so it, I think it will be very helpful for you as well as the other uh, books I used is the ebook is the Cisco software defined networking so I will mention all of the books names in the uh, description as well as so you can copy from there so but don't ask to send any of the ebook or the email uh, this is not a good apart from these books i used some other books according to me it was uh, very helpful for me and i can show you some old you will be surprised to see this book the, the old ccnp tissue book and not from the, this one as well as i also used from the old ccnp is switching book the switch exam book apart from them uh, from old cci i used this one is the cci routing and switching version 5 i have the both volume 1 uh, this is the volume 2 and you can see here i also have the volume 1 for the same book cci routing and switching version 5 But my advice is also to read that books if you are preparing for the CCI. It will be very helpful for you to understand the first 60% of the topics. I would also advise you to reading blogs and Cisco websites on per topic basis. So one thing is that I didn't mention in that books. What about my automation preparations? Actually, before I started my CCI training, I completed uh, my network automation, in, including Python for the network engineer training. So the topics was almost done, and I was also watching some automation videos on the YouTube. Uh, Udemy is also good resources. Also, I was reading Cisco blogs and the Cisco website for that one. The third resource is I was talking about the videos. So what about the videos, which videos I used? So in fact, uh, I have subscribed or collected uh, some series of the videos uh, from INE or some other authors boot camps and all trainings videos were also provided by my training institute too. That was really helpful for me. So books or the printed ebooks was costly for me. So what I found a good solution for that one and a secret way to reading all ebooks in just $99 a year. Otherwise, if you will go to purchase the one book, the one book cost would be between $40 to $50. So I, uh, I subscribed Actually, if you will go to the learning.acme.org, this is the non-profit organization. And if you will subscribe that uh, as a student, then you will be get the many advantages is that you will get the orally as the free book. You will get the skill sets uh, portal for a freeware and some um, many more uh, portals as well as and this membership is just for the 99 dollar per year as a student and you can see the screenshot as well as i hope so and i will be shared that uh, link in 
the description as well as so let me know would you like these videos or not thank you for watching and i hope it's helpful thank you and wish you a healthy life and good learning best of luck